my friends, and welcome to Paulina Art. Happy New Year to all of you. This is my first painting of 2021. And I did this painting in the hopes of a better year for humanity, for new hope and new beginnings. I was inspired to do this painting by a beautiful photo I saw on Pixabay. I'm going to link it below and on the first comment of this video. Pixabay has thousands of beautiful photos that you can download for free or that you can look and get inspired by. The photo that inspired this painting has a beautiful dove, but the setting is more of a fall setting with a warm orangey brown background and some orange leaves. But I wanted to create this painting as a beautiful spring day with a tree full of new flowers and buds representing a new beginning. I'm going to link below the pattern I created for this painting that you can download for free. I'm also going to list all the colors that I used. If you would like to see how I created this new beginnings painting, stay with me and let's paint together. Today I'm working on 9 by 12 canvas. I'm going to start by painting the background with this round damp sponge. I have my blue and my white on my palette and I'm going to dab the sponge and just start applying these colors randomly on my canvas. I want more of a darker blue and I can take this opportunity to do the sides to do the sides of my canvas as well. And I'm going to add some white in some areas just to create a lighter blue. I'm going to let my first layer of paint dry and then I'm going to go ahead and repeat the process. Okay, I have applied my second layer of paint and I am happy with the results. And as you can see, it's darker on this side and lighter in this area because I want this side darker where my dove is going to be and a little bit lighter this area where I'm going to have the branches with the flowers. Once I'm happy with my background, I'm going to place my pattern exactly where I want it. I'm going to secure it with some painter's tape so it doesn't move on me. And I'm going to go ahead and trace this onto my canvas. For this composition, I'm going to be using white transfer paper. If you don't have white, you can use the regular graphite transfer or carbon paper. Okay, I have transferred my pattern. I'm not sure if you can see it really good in the camera, but I can see it very clearly. Now I'm going to mix white with just a drop of yellow. I want a very, very light yellow, more white than yellow. And with this color, I'm going to paint my dove and I'm going to make sure I leave the lines that define the bird. So it's not all a big yellow blob. And I'm using a small round brush to do this. And for the finer detail, I'm going to use my, my liner brush. And the reason I'm doing this is because acrylic paint 
It's very translucent, especially the lighter colors that I'm going to use for the dove. And I don't want this dark blue showing through. The bird dries. I'm going to use the same small round brush and with brown color I'm going to start going over the branches. black now and I'm going to add a little bit of black at the bottom of the branches just to give them more dimension. I now have the same white yellow that I use to apply the base coat on my dove and I'm going to add some highlights at the top of the branches just as if the light the sun is hitting them just to give them more dimension make them more lively I'm putting the light on the opposite side of the black. This is the light side. I'm now going to start using my three angle brushes from the Folk Art one stroke set. I'm going to start with the smaller angled brush from the set and I have some floating medium on my brush, just very little. And I'm going to pick up white at the toe and purple, just a little bit of purple at the heel and I'm going to blend. And you have to make sure the paint on the bird is dry before, before you apply the second coat. So we're going to do the back wing first. And I'm going to press my brush and just, just slide. I am now moving to the medium size angle brush. This one is 
a 5 8 to create the larger wing I'm going to start from the head of the dove and this is why it's important to have floating medium this is the floating medium that I'm using if you don't have floating medium you can use blending gel but it really ha will help the, uh, the paint blend and flow and my brush is loaded the same way as I loaded the other brush and I'm going to start creating the, the wings here I'm just lighting my brush using floating medium will make this much easier it will help the acrylic move really well going to go ahead and do the body and the tail and I'm doing the tail exactly the same way I'm just sliding and if I want more contrast I put more purple on the heel of my brush. Where I'm gonna do the other side. For the belly, I'm back to my small brush. And I'm going to finish the, the head. I'm going to do the furry part of the feet. Just going to wiggle my brush a little bit. You can feather a little bit in here if you want just to create more of a feathery effect on the chest. We're going to let the dove dry for now. I'm back to the smaller angled brush from the set. This is a number 38 and I have green at the toe and yellow at the heel. And I'm going to add some small leaves all over the branches. Once the dove is dry to the touch, we're going to do a little bit of floating just to give the bird more highlights. And I'm using the small, the small angle brush from the set. I'm picking up, I'm picking up some floating medium and white just at the toe of the brush. I'm going to add some highlights 
on the dove to give the dove more dimension. And I'm going to do the same on the wing. By adding the floating medium, it blends it for you. I'm going to add some on the tail. And a little bit in here. And a little bit on, on the belly. And on the wings here. On the end of my brush, I have a dab of black and I'm going to go ahead and, and put the eye right in here. I'm going to make some orange with red and yellow. And I'm going to paint the feet and the, the beak. going to add a little bit of a highlight in here so let's go back to the feet and add some highlight at the top doesn't matter if it's a little messy because this is going to give the texture of the feet of the bird well these parts of the bird dry let's add the blossoms on the tree and I'm using the small angle brush with the same colors of for the dove, white at the toe and purple at the heel. And I'm just going to do very loose, small flowers blooming. I'm just pressing my brush and give it a little bit of movement. I want this to be very loose, not perfect flowers. With the tip of the brush and some purple, we can add small buds that haven't come out yet. Just using the purple for the little buds that haven't flowered yet. And now I'm picking up some yellow on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to add a little yellow center to some of the flowers that I can see are open. I'm going to float a little bit of yellow on the dove just to add more light. I think this gave it a very nice light. I'm going to do the same on the tail. This incorporates the colors, all the colors together I find. Of course this is up to you. 
you want to do that. I'm now moving to my small liner brush just to do details. I'm going to add a little bit of red. And a little bit of red on the feet just underneath here. To give the feet more, more volume. I'm going to add yellow around the eye. And I'm going to add some brown in here. And a little bit of brown, just some lines to create the, um, the effect of the feet. And I'm going to add the claws with brown. And I'm going to add just a dot of white in the eye just to give the eye more life. And a little bit of white on the beak. Okay, my friends, our new beginnings painting with a dove is finished. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed doing this painting. I hope you learned something new. If you like this video, please give it a like, share with your friends, comment below, and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss any future content from me. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you on the next one.